इंडिया में इस वक्त हजारों मल्टी लेवल मार्केटिंग कंपनीज ऑपरेट कर रही हैं जिसमें से कुछ जेनविन है और बहुत सारी ऐसी कंपनीज हैं जो कि स्कैम कर रही हैं इनफैक्ट पास में भी ऐसी बहुत सारी कंपनीज हैं जिन्होंने पब्लिक के साथ में बहुत बड़ा स्कैम किया उसके बाद में या तो वो कंपनीज बंद हो गई या उनके जो ओनर्स थे उन्होंने सारा पैसा इकट्ठा किया पब्लिक का और वो भाग गए और जब इस तरह के स्कैम्स बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ गए हमारी कंट्री में तो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने एक बहुत ही अच्छा स्टेप उठाया पब्लिक वेलफेयर के लिए कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन डायरेक्ट सेलिंग रूल्स को इंट्रोड्यूस किया और अच्छी बात यह है कि ये सारे रूल्स हिंदी में भी लिखे हुए हैं और इंग्लिश में भी लिखे हुए हैं जिससे कि कोई भी इंसान इसको अच्छे से पढ़ सके और समझ सके करूं कि ये रूल्स क्या है हमको ये समझना बहुत जरूरी है कि जो डायरेक्ट सेलिंग इंडस्ट्री है इसकी शुरुआत कैसे हुई थी और उसके पीछे का लॉजिक क्या था तो जब इस इंडस्ट्री की शुरुआत हुई थी तो उसका लॉजिक बड़ा सिंपल सा था कि आपने एक प्रोडक्ट खरीदा अगर वो प्रोडक्ट आपको पसंद आया एज कंज्यूमर तो आपने आगे अपने फ्रेंड्स को और रिलेटिव को रिकमेंड किया जब रिकमेंड किया तो उस कंपनी को प्रॉफिट हुआ तो उस प्रॉफिट में से कुछ परसेंटेज उस कंपनी ने उस इंसान को दिया जिसने उस प्रोडक्ट को रिकमेंड किया अगर इसी तरह से इस बिजनेस को एक्चुअल में किया जाए तो इसमें कुछ भी गलत नहीं है लेकिन अगर एक कंपनी के जो डायरेक्ट सेलर्स हैं वो उस कंपनी के प्रोडक्ट के बारे में तो कोई बात ही नहीं कर रहे हैं वो बात कर रहे हैं किसी ऐसे प्रोडक्ट के बारे में जिसका उस कंपनी के प्रोडक्ट से दूर दूर तक कोई कनेक्शन नहीं है फॉर एग्जाम्पल वो कंपनी बेच रही है साबुन तेल शैम्पू और वहां पर बात करी जा रही है मर्सिडीज की बी की और उस कंपनी को आगे से आगे जो लोग ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं उनके ज्वाइन करने का मकसद उस कंपनी के प्रोडक्ट या सर्विस नहीं है बल्कि पैसा कमाना है यहां तक कि उनको प्रोडक्ट से कोई लेना देना ही नहीं है तो ये एक कंप्लीट स्कैम है जिसको गवर्नमेंट ने पूरी तरह से बैन किया हुआ है और इस स्ट्रक्चर में कुछ लोगों का तो फायदा होता है बाकी लाखों लोगों के पैसे डूब जाते हैं सो बिफोर वी एक्चुअली अंडरस्टैंड नेटवर्क मार्केटिंग लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज बिजनेस we all agree that we have all started a business correct so what is a business business is exchange of value so it can be any product or service exchange of value for money this is the most simple definition of business so value means something which you can charge for and it can be anything today we have business of sand also we have business of air also we have business of water also so anything which is of value when it is exchanged for money it is called business so there are three things value money and exchange so network marketing is not this network marketing is not this network marketing is in this space network marketing is one of the mediums one of the ways to exchange that value and if you have read your books you will know how the distribution and this exchange is called distribution how are we taking the products and services to the customer so if any of these elements so if product and services are missing and only exchange of money is happening then it can never be a business it will be a money exchange it will be a money circulation and if there is only product exchange and no money then it is a barter system correct which used to happen before the concept of money and before the concept of business came in so business means simple exchange of value some product or some service being exchanged for money now how that exchange will happen that has varied over a period of time so we had mom and pop shops earlier then came the concept of departmental store think about this mom and pop shops were individual places where you would where a customer would come and the owner will sell those products and services and take money from him so it was a very limited scope only people around that shop can come to that place correct and the cost of running that shop is borne by the owner so that was the only model that was the only way the exchange of products and services used to happen and there were different different shops for different different products so let's say one person is only selling grocery one person is only selling vegetables one person is only selling let's say garments and each individual owner is bearing cost so in distribution 
you need to understand these three things very important so first is the cost second is the reach and third is the speed so any distribution model is always evaluated on these three parameters what is the cost of setting up what is the reach means how many customers i can reach out to or how many customers can come to me and the speed how fast we can do this so that went many many decades mom and pop shops and then what happened these people thought why to have so many different shops at different different locations because that will mean customer has to go to so many shops and incur cost so it is cost for the customer also the operation cost of the businessman also is there why not club all these shops under one roof and we can share the operational cost so all the businessmen came together and formed a departmental store so departmental store was actually an innovation somebody thought better how to save my cost how to have more customers coming at one place only so that is how the concept of departmental store came because now customer has to go to only one place so his time will be saved you will also get the benefit of some savings which the businesses have done so he gets better value he saves his time he saves his money so this is definitely a better distribution model but you will be surprised to know that departmental stores were declared illegal so when departmental stores came into being they were declared illegal funny right because all the mom and pop shop owners their business started getting affected then the customer would not come to their shop he would rather go to a departmental store and buy everything in one go and guess what happened then these people who were the mom and pop shop owners they were the rich people so what they did these were the people who were supporting the legislatures who were supporting the political parties so they got a legislation passed to make sure that the departmental stores are declared illegal but today do we have departmental stores yes because anything which is saving cost which is increasing reach which is better faster will eventually be accepted by everybody so the legislation changed the government's change and the departmental stores became the norm and today we have departmental stores and then the concept of franchisee came near 70s the concept of franchisee business came so somebody said if i already have a successful formula why do i need to reinvent the wheel why not duplicate the same success formula at different different places but of course the cost was high but the reach was more and since the it was a ready made business to reinvent so the speed of business also increased and you will be surprised to know even franchisee business in the 70s was almost on the verge of getting declared illegal and after that the concept of telemarketing you all heard telemarketing teleshopping network marketing so this is where network network marketing actually fits in this is one advanced model of distribution this is evolution and imagine if you multiply network marketing with e-commerce then this is the best in terms of cost in terms of reach in terms of speed because being on e-commerce having a network marketing model makes it you know combination multiplication of two very powerful concepts 70 to 80% of the cost if you can save 70 to 80% of the cost you can very easily pass on the benefit to the customer correct so customer is the biggest beneficiary and if it is e-commerce then the speed is in seconds and minutes today right now we can you know sign up anybody it takes hardly 2 minutes to get him started in the business correct so the speed of doing business has changed dramatically so if you think from business point of view as a business owner 
what is the best distribution model? And where did I learn all these things? From my books. It is all there in the books. So if you have not read your books, please read your books. Because me telling you why network marketing is such a great thing is one thing. But when you understand yourself and when you get your answers and when get, you get your knowledge up, it will become your belief, your conviction. Because in our business, the biggest challenge is, you know, Sajinbhai always talks about the initial two stages, acceptance and belief. And 90% people, so the first stage is to accept that I need something. That realization, that being humble enough to accept that I need something. Because many people start this business, but they never accept that I need something. And then second stage is your belief and conviction. Because if you don't believe in anything, and you are still talking about it, then you don't have the moral right to talk about it. It's like imagine there is a, there is a new building coming up, new construction project coming up, but you don't buy in that, but you're telling others to buy in that. Because you don't believe that this is a good investment or good project, but you're telling others to buy a house there. Do you think that will make sense? Never. So why network marketing? Because there are solid reasons, logical, financial, and for me personally, very, very emotional reasons. Why this industry? Why this is the only industry that I should be in? Now look at what is happening throughout this lockdown. You know, IMF and World Bank have already declared that this is the worst recession, worse than 2008 also. I hope you all know that. Correct? So actually the question is not why network marketing? The question is if not network marketing, then what? That is a bigger question and that is a valid question to ask. Okay, if I don't do network marketing, then what? What are my options? Can I start even a small business? Do you even understand the pain of a business? Do you even understand the cost, not just the direct cost, the indirect cost of the business? So more you read about first things, more you read about the evolution of businesses and how the distribution models have evolved and what are the advantages and disadvantages of each model, your decision, your conviction will not come. So personally for me, it is no more about why network marketing. It is about what else. If not this, then what else? Because a lot of people only keep struggling with this. That okay, if I, even if I need to do something, should I do this? Is this the answer to my problems? And they keep wondering that network marketing, is this the answer? Chain business, MLM. And a lot of people without having even basic understanding of this business. You know, think about this. Most of the people who start this business also struggle to read the books. So do you think people who are outside the business have ever read any books about this industry? No. This is an industry which is close to $200 billion. Guys, $200 billion. And it is not a joke. And this is, this is not, I am telling, this is the World Distribution, you know, Direct Selling Association. These are the data which is collated by the authorities. Globally, it is $200 billion. So $200 billion. annually. Do you know how many zeros? Many countries don't have a GDP like this. But we get influenced by people who have zero knowledge. Forget about knowledge about this industry. They, they can't even survive. They can't even take care of their own EMI. So my thumb rule is anybody who's talking or who's giving me advice on money, just check how many years of experience he has and how many lakhs he has in his account liquid. If the number of lakhs that he has is not even matching the number of years of experience that he has, then definitely he's not the right person to take advice. Correct? It is like, imagine you want to make your son or a daughter a doctor, then who's the best person to take advice from? 
Will you go and check with your local tailor? Never. The tailor may be the best person, maybe your friend. But it is a question of your kid's future. He is not the right person to advise you. Or that auntie or that uncle. So the only person who can actually advise you is a successful doctor. So similarly, in network marketing industry, the only person who can actually advise you, who can actually, you should listen to, is the person who understands money, who understands wealth, who understands this industry. So anybody who is a millionaire, you know, people who are super successful, people like Warren Buffett, who is one of the biggest investors in the world, he says, my best investments have been the investments which I made in the direct selling companies. You know, Bill, Bill Gates, you know, last, last, last time we see Amit shared his PPT and you all saw what Bill Gates speaks about this industry. He said, if I have to start all over again, the only industry I will start in is network marketing. Robert Kiyosaki is, is not a millionaire from network marketing industry. He made his millions in real estate and other businesses. But he is the biggest supporter of network marketing industry because he says this is the best industry where with minimal risk, you can actually create a system which other business owners take decades and risks worth millions. So the choice is who do we listen to? And all those people who are scared about the chain, people who, you know, I remember when I heard chain business first time, even I was confused. Is this actually a chain business? So let me share something which, which may help you understand why chain is the best thing to do. So let's say, so for a second, let's forget QNET business. Let's say you are a customer and you go to a, can you see this? Yes, I can see. Okay. So you are a customer and you go to a Samsung showroom. So this is a Samsung showroom and you go to a Samsung showroom. You pay him money and you buy a television. And you also get a receipt for your television. So you paid him money and you get a product for that money. Now, is this a legal transaction? Is this ethical? So this is as ethical, as transparent as any business transaction can be. But what we don't understand is that this simple looking transaction is actually two different worlds. This is called customer world. And this is business world. You may be the most intelligent customer, most learned, wise. You do your research well and you go to different, different places and check what is the price, what is the feature, what is the discount. But the fact of the matter is the direction of money will always be out. Correct? And this person, the business owner, maybe even not even a graduate, but the direction of money is in, towards him. So if we always belong, if all our life we belong to the customer side and money is always out, out. Right now see, the shirt that you're wearing, the shoes that you're wearing, the items that you have on your desk, around you, everything is money out, money out, money out. True? So if all our life money is always out, then is it a surprise that we are always struggling for money? Because the only way you can be rich is when the direction of money is towards you. And I'm not even talking about network marketing as of now. The only way you can actually have direction of money towards you is when you are in a business. But what we don't understand is the value system of this guy and value system of this person is very, very different. And that is why we always check are you ready to change? Are you ready to learn? Because this customer can go to this shop also, that shop also, he can keep hopping. But can the businessman keep hopping? Never. Can anybody force you to become a business owner? 
No, it has to be your decision. It has to be your free decision. And that decision also cannot happen. I know many of you may want to do some business. You know, I always used to keep talking about maybe one day I'll start, but only decision is not enough till the time you don't have an opportunity to start a business. Because this opportunity is not easy. This opportunity doesn't come for free, right? You need huge investment. So imagine instead of just buying a TV, if you have a Samsung showroom, good or bad, great, right? Because now you will have opportunity to earn money. So investment is required. Huge investment is required. Time is required. Effort is required. Pain is required. So if you are a business owner, if you run a showroom on Diwali, will you close your showroom? You know, we think business owners earn money for nothing. They earn money. They, in fact, they don't make money. They have to earn their money. They have to be there in their shop every single day. They have to sacrifice. They have to compromise on a lot of, you know, a lot of things that they were otherwise doing. And that transition is what makes them a business owner. Now, since the investment is huge, all this comes naturally. So let's say you are lucky, you have the investment, you have this, you know, time, effort, you are ready to do all these things and somehow you manage to start your business. Now think about this. You are an owner of the Samsung Shuru. Now maybe 10, 15, 20 customers walk in and maybe let's say nobody buys a TV. Will you close the showroom? No. Will you start crying? No. So you are the business owner. You will be patient. You will have. And as a business owner, you are not just a salesman. So there is a difference between a salesman and a businessman. So salesman is only interested in pushing the products. And this is where most of the people don't understand this industry. They think I have to push these products and services. And this is how historically network marketing has been thought about. Because when this industry started, people, you know, it was started by housewives. And they started this industry thinking, okay, what can we do in our free time? And they started dealing in products which were required in households. But today we have CEOs and CXOs of the companies in this industry. So salesman is only focus is just push the products. But as a business owner, you have a much, of course, you will un, have knowledge about your products and services also, but you have a much bigger vision. So we are not just a salesman, we are a business owner. So imagine you started running your showroom, some people come, some people on and on and on. And imagine after a few years, after two, three years of your hard work, you know, your business starts running, you start making some money, earning some money. And Samsung says, you know, this person is a hardworking person, trustworthy person. Let's do one thing. Let's make him a local distributor. So let's give him local distributorship for this area. So maybe if you are in Delhi, let's say this West Delhi local dealership, we give it to you. Good or bad? It is very good because now you will be in a bigger business. Now you have multiple showrooms to supply to, right? Now you are in B2B. So earlier you were in B2C. Now you are in B2B. So volumes that you are dealing in, they will be bigger. People that you are talking to are more, you know, business minded people. So easy to talk, easy to connect. There's no small kid, kid, chick, chick regarding the customer complaints and customer dealings. So as a local distributor, you are much better than just a retailer. And also your source of income has increased because now you have multiple showrooms to supply to. And let's say after some time, if you become a state level distributor, so imagine whole of Delhi, then you are a big guy. And imagine if you have Pan India, if you are a distributor for whole of India, then which car will you be driving? Maybe a Bentley, right? Where will you be living? Maybe in the most posh area in your state or city. And you will be actually now closer to Samsung. True? And do you see what is... 
you see what structure is this imagine you having pan india distribution where you have multiple states and then each state there are different dealers on local level and if you are the person who has built this entire distribution network so as you move up the value chain so this is also chain this also looks like same structure right like pyramid only correct but we never call this a chain business do we call this a chain business never why we don't call samsung distribution a chain business because every single person this person this person this person this person every individual has taken a decision has moved this side is fully committed to his business and if you replace this if you replace samsung with qi and if you replace this showroom with the qnet portal and if you replace this tv with whatever product vacation or watch or whatever product you have purchased the beauty is we could get this business we could start this business with this money we have paid this money not this investment and probably that is the reason why we are still not thinking like a businessman because if this was there then it is very easy to become a business owner then we will be very much okay to give our life to put in time effort learning you know we'll finish our books maybe in one day only right imagine if you had put in 20 lakh 30 lakhs 50 lakh rupees then you would read all your books in same night now just because we got this business by buying a product it does not make it a small business it is a distribution guys distribution is the backbone of any business distribution is the distribution is the name of the game look at what relax and says done today is with facebook do you understand so today reliance and facebook have joined hands so qi group is just like a reliance group who has multiple products and services so let me share my overall understanding of this business so this is the company this is qi group research manufacturing logistics shipping and delivery vendor management all this is managed centrally by qi group these are our products and services different different verticals telecom healthcare lifestyle luxury vacations so these are different different products and services that we have and all these products and services are available only on our portal which is our qnet portal correct you remember distribution what i spoke about cost advantage reach and speed so these are the obvious positives of e-commerce but what is the biggest disadvantage trust and awareness and this is where you come to picture this is where you and me are we take care of these two parts now imagine you started this business by buying a product so this is your connect with qnet and this is your circle of influence now all my friends who are management graduates mbas or you know who have worked in corporate you understand there is a concept of segmentation in marketing right so today the world is moving towards from segmentation to micro segmentation to circle of influence that is where the world is heading so each individual has a circle of influence so let's say you have 500000 people in your circle of influence we are not running after customers we are not a salesman running for customers because out of this 1000 people i don't know who's planning to buy a vacation who's planning to buy a watch and if somebody is really keen to buy a vacation let's say you go for vacation and let's say you are wearing your own watch and somebody asks you okay what is this watch where did you buy this watch i like this watch so that is maybe this person so he can go to the portal and he can log into this do his kyc but for his kyc your code is mapped so he becomes your customer for rest of his life 
he can directly pay to the qnet portal he can get his product and services shipped directly from the company did you take any money from him did you make any deliveries to him no but you because this customer belongs to you so you have a profit share on every single transaction that he will do so what we are doing is we are not running after these customers what we are doing is we are selecting judiciously wisely through a process of selection few people who have the business mind who are ready to shift from this customer world to the business world who are ready to commit to the value system of the business world time effort learning change everything is required and the icing on the cake is they are also my customer by default correct so we are not running after this customer only we are only selecting right partners but by default they are becoming our customers so imagine once you have joined hands with these customers these partners their circle of influence is also your circle of influence can you see what is happening can you see what why network marketing is such a powerful distribution model can you see this my friend this is facebook and this is what reliance is so this is like reliance this is facebook and you know what they did they don't even need an amazon because just a portal is actually nothing and that is why we are not just an amazon or a flipkart or a ebay because all these portals will vanish right now all these portals are loss making because they don't own the supply side they don't have this they don't have this supply side right they are dependent on third parties and the customer side also you know moment this customer will see another 5% 10% discount customer will vanish so can you imagine what reliance and facebook are doing today our founders had the vision 20 years back can you see that vision can you see how smart our business model is can you see how powerful network marketing as an industry is and within this industry how powerful qnet business model is so if not this then what else can i do where is my opportunity where is my chance of becoming a millionaire you know both this industry e-commerce and technology these are the only industries which have created millionaires in the last two decades so my chances of becoming a millionaire are much higher only in this industry than any other industry correct so honestly i don't know what is the question why network marketing or should it be what else if not network marketing because in my mind there is no better business there is no other industry you know i was listening to the news the other day most of the companies and one of my friend who is in the mac he was telling me out of 2000 people out of 2000 employees the mac has fired 1850 employees only 150 employees are left only 150 employees are left can you can you imagine what's going to happen after this lockdown maybe half of the world will be jobless it is already happening guys so this is not the time to ask why network marketing this is the time to build your knowledge build your belief upgrade raise yourself this is the time to be ready to build your distribution business and all the negativity around this business you know around this industry just vanishes moment you have clarity what exactly are you doing so what i have done i have paid money to the company and i have got a product for that money with a receipt so where is actually the investment there is no investment if i buy an apple phone do i become an investor in apple no i'm just a customer of apple so i'm just a customer of qnet but because of my decision 
because I chose to be a distributor, because I want to be a distributor, because I want to be in this industry of network marketing, because I want to commit my time, effort and learning. That is how I become a business owner. So by default, every customer can actually become a distributor. But not every distributor, but not every customer will become a distributor. Though they have a choice. What makes them a distributor is their commitment, is their decision. So ask yourself, have you decided to be in this industry? Are you willing to commit to this industry? And if you are clear with that decision, then there is only one way. That is keep going up. Upgrade yourself in knowledge. Upgrade yourself with skills. Upgrade yourself with, you know, with best practices. Learn maximum. This is the time to spend maximum time with your uplines. Be on this grooming school trainings. Be on system. Be, don't miss any single thing. And if you have not read your books at least 10 times, you know, you have no right to be successful in this business. Take out your books. Read your books all over again. Listen to all the videos. Listen to all the trainings. You know, today we have, you know, so many content, so much of content. It is all about just investing your time and nothing else guys money part is over long back we're so lucky we're so blessed that we didn't have to put our house on mortgage correct why this industry is so powerful because this allows so if i can you know share one more thing with you guys so why this industry is so powerful Because there are fundamentally only two resources, money and time. These are the only two resources and rest everything else comes from this. Now if you see money, if money is the source of capital, so if money is the source of capital, then there is no parity, which means everybody on this planet does not have the same money. All the opportunities right now, you will see the millionaires will become multi-millionaires and billionaires will become multi-billionaires because they have money to buy businesses, to start new businesses. And that is the reason because this money is not distributed equally. That is why only rich people can start a business. Only rich people get all the opportunities in life. What network marketing does is it changes the source of capital from money to time. Our source of capital is not money guys. Our source of capital is time which is equal. Which is equal for everybody. A beggar on the street, Mugesh Ambani, you and me, everybody has same 24 hours. And the reason why all the big people, all the industrialists or the big companies or the traditional business don't like network marketing is because it empowers people like you and me. It changes the whole game because if you and me both have the same opportunity, same level playing field, then at least it is fair game. No? So what I did, I did not invest my time because I did not invest my money. I invested my time. So apart from my job, after my office hours, whatever time I had, I started investing in my business. Today, you can't even complain that you don't have time. So real investment in our business is not money. It is time. So you start investing in time. You start investing in time in terms of learning, in terms of you know, knowledge. And then your return is also in time. Imagine you are now confident about this business and then you sign up one more distributor with you. You sign up one more partner with you and you start helping him. You start passing on your knowledge, your belief, your conviction to him. And slowly, slowly he becomes strong. Now he becomes committed and he starts giving even two hours consistently extra. So now you have your two hours also and his two hours also. Correct? And imagine if the same thing is done again and again and again. So, so you remember 
the bees that I drop. So imagine if I have 20 DRs out of my 500 or 1000 people, even if I have 20 DRs and these 20 people have 20 DRs, this is 400 and these 20 means 8000 and their 20 means 160,000 distributors or customers, whatever you want to call it, is the same. But to have my 20 DRs, I need to invest my time. And to help them to have their 20 DRs, I need to invest more time. Help them build their mindset. Pass on the same knowledge, same conviction to them. Imagine even if this takes four to five years, what you have built is close to 100,000 plus distributors and customers both. Correct? Because today I am one of the best customers because I have all the products and each one of you, you can check. We all started with just one product, but then eventually we have all the products. So we are not running after customers. We are running after knowledge and learning and understanding of this business because that will eventually help us build a distribution network. And out of this 100,000 distributors, even if 10% people take it seriously. So if 10,000 people are behaving like a distributor and this balance 90,000 people, you know, they did not want to change. They did not want to learn. They did not upgrade their knowledge and skill. And they still think, no, no, this is chain business. No, I can't do this. Still, our effort is not waste. First of all, they have nothing to lose because they all got a product for their money. So their money part is anyways over. So nothing to lose. But tomorrow, if there is a small product where they can save 2000 rupees, they will be very happy to save 2000 rupees because they don't have the mindset to earn a million dollars, but they are very much comfortable saving 2000 rupees. So you and me, our effort is not going waste. And if these people buy a small product also, I have income coming from this also. But my real focus is this. Imagine if these people give two hours a day average. I have 20,000 man hours every single day. Correct? So my investment is in time and my return is also in time. And you all, all of you know, money is equal to rate into time. So when I was in job, my salary was small. My boss's salary was big because my rate was small. His rate was big. Time we both were giving same. We both gave 10, 12 hours, but his experience was more than mine. So his rate was maybe four times than mine. That is why he was the CEO of the company. So if I were to focus on my rate, I will keep struggling all my life. Maybe wait for another 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. And still one day my salary will stop. So I did not focus on this. I focused on this. So he still has only 10 hours, but I have now 20,000 hours. So if money is equal to rate into time, then these 97% people, they focus on rate and 3% people, they focus on time. Are you willing to be a three percenter? Are you willing to come to this part of the, this side of the world where time is the investment and time is the return? And this is network marketing guys. There is no other way to be rich without creating a time bank. If you don't want to do this, ask yourself, what is the other way to build 20,000 hours time bank? And that is the only thing you can compare this business, this industry with. Because I got my answer that there is no other way I can build time bank. And you all remember, time is money. You know, we all learned that time is money. But some way we forgot that. So if I want to have a lot of money in my life, if I want to be really wealthy, what I need to have, I need to have a lot of time. I need to have thousands and thousands of hours of time. And that is what Mukesh Ambani has. That is what Bill Gates has. That is what Mark Zuckerberg has. That is what Richard Branson has. And that is why these guys keep traveling and they become bigger and bigger 
and we keep wondering what is happening. So I could not think of any other option where I can create a time bank life. And that is why I'm so mad and so passionate about this industry. Because from, from 60 lakh minus to today living a life that I am living was not possible if it was not for network marketing. So the real question is not why network marketing. The real question is if not network marketing, then what? If not this plan, which he has said, then what is your plan? You show me one more plan and if it is better than this, I will sign up. You know, I remember VP Dev saying this, you know, can you imagine 15 years and he is the person who understands numbers, who understands money. So honestly, my start was only looking at Sachin Bhai, looking at VP Kavita, looking at Digi Bhai, looking at VP Dev. Because these all people were better than me in terms of what they have achieved, where they were in their lives. So I said, if they can do it, what the hell is wrong with me? So all this I learned later. So this is the time guys to, up, to learn everything about your industry. Feel proud about your industry. And don't let any moron, don't let anybody who is struggling with money tell you or teach you about this industry. They have no right to talk about your industry. Anybody who has not understood, who has not, you know, and people who say, no, oh, I have done this. And there are many morons who say, I have done this. I can give you in writing, you would have not read these five books. And most of the people who say, I have done this, are those people who kept struggling with those. And 90% people who quit this industry are those people who have not even shown five plans.